Today I want to show you three little shop accessories that make jobs around the shop so much easier. Stay tuned. We'll look at the first one right away. First little accessory I want to show you today is this little mini square from woodpecker.com. This thing is so handy. It's only about two and three quarters by one and three quarter, but it's perfect for checking the squareness of, of your table saw blade. You know, if you've, if you've made an angle change and you want to get it back to zero, or it's several, checking the corner of a small drawer, rail and style drawer, whatever, it's, it is so useful. And Woodpecker does a good job of packaging it too. It's got this little MDF holder that it sits in real nice and it can be set on a shelf. It's just so handy. Let me show you how I use it. Now one of the ways that I use it is to check my square on my table saw. It is so small that you can set it right up against the blade in between the teeth and you can check to see if your blade is perfectly 90 degrees or not. Now here I've got just a little bit of gap down here on this corner. So I can loosen I can loosen my blade up and make the adjustment to right when I right where I need it to be. So that is one use for it. Another use for it is you can put it in a small drawer and check square on any one particular corner, even on the outside corners if you want. It's a little, little small mini square from woodpecker.com. Check it out. They've got a lot of good measuring devices and wood shop aids. Next thing I want to show you is this feather board. It's called a Feather Board Pro from Bow Products. You can Google search them or I'll put a link in the description and this thing is amazing it stops any kind of kickback uh, fr from your table saw if, if uh, should, should something arise let me show you what I'm talking about I've got my saw blade down so that you can see it better but you get the idea sets in your miter slot so you get your width that you set, you set this just on the other side of the stock, and push it till this, these compress just a little bit, and then tighten this down, and then normally you know you can feed your stock through, that's not a problem at all, and you're feeding your stock through, but watch this. You cannot pull that out. I'm trying to pull this back. And the way this is made, these things support feeding through, but they lock up when, when something tries to kick back. You just can't do it. Adds a lot of safety to your table saw. Item number two, Featherboard Pro from Bow Products. Third little accessory I want to tell you about today is these fence clamps from Rockler. These things are really, really handy. How many times when you're cutting on your table saw, cutting something to width, and you have to set a stop block up over here by the fence? Well, we've all done this thing, you know, with the, with the clamp, and, and that's all fine and good. But this little accessory fits over the clamp, you take you a piece of wood, you drill a hole in the right size, you set it in there, and then you screw it to your fence. You can screw it to your fence wherever so that now when you feed through you're not going to get bound up between your fence and your blade. Really, really nice. And you can also, if you get two of them, get a long fence, sacrificial fence. If you put two of them, one here and one here, then you've got instant sacrificial fence where you can just clamp it on real quick and store it aside. Uh, 
very, very handy, very useful for a stop block or a sacrificial fence. So there you have it. Three nice little accessories that can add convenience and safety to your shop. The Mini Square from Woodpecker.com, Universal Fence Clamps from Rockler.com, and the Featherboard Pro from Bow Products. Check them out. I'll have links in the description. Appreciate you watching. It's your first time to watch us. We ask that you hit the subscribe button so that you'll be notified when we have more videos coming out. If you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. LLS, I've been calling it. Like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Now, we'll see you next week with another pin blank video. Thanks a lot, and until next time, be safe.